Today, we're going to show you the products that we're going to use in our Harlux's auxiliary battery system. First up is the SeatTech 250S Dual. Now this is a DC to DC charger. And what it does is it takes power from the starter battery and uses it to charge the auxiliary battery. As opposed to a simple split charge system, it does not link the two batteries together at any point. So if you have a low voltage output on your alternator, like the modern cars do, this boosts the voltage to allow the auxiliary battery to be charged properly. Next, we have a custom made face shield panel for the carling switch gang mount. Now we'll look into this a little bit more in depth when we come to install it, but carling switch is the highest quality switch you can possibly get, in my opinion. Now, another custom made item is our battery tray. Uh, I am a welder fabricator by trade and I was refusing to pay 150 odd quid for an auxiliary battery tray for the Hilux. So, me and a mate stuck our heads together and created an auxiliary battery tray big enough to fit our Volta AGM dual purpose battery. This will kick out 75 amp hours uh, and will also act as a starter battery in the, in the situation where our, our starter battery, our original starter battery, may be depleted because of interior lights or something being left up. A little bit more information on the SeatTech, as quite a lot of people haven't actually heard the DC to DC charger before. This nifty little box, and that's all it is, little box. It's very, very simple to install. You have the input from your star battery, the output to your leisure battery, a negative, and what's really neat about this unit as well, it's also the MPPT solar regulator. So if you have a solar panel installed, or you're planning on, all you have to do is plug your solar panel directly into this device, at this point here, and it will regulate the power coming from your uh, solar panel, and it will also use it to effectively charge your batteries when your starter battery is unable to charge. This little unit detects that your starter battery is being charged and is your, that it will only charge when your starter battery is fully charged and then diverts 20, maximum of 20 amps to your ledger battery but it does it in a way in a very similar charging profile to an AC charger. So you'll have a free stage charging profile. So this is able to deliver a bulk, a absorb, and a trickle charge, which is automatically detected and applied. What also makes this unit very smart is it comes with a built-in temperature sensor. This little gadget here, you attach to your leisure battery, and it detects temperature of that battery and adjust, adjusts its charging profile to suit, which is very good in very cold weather where batteries may need more amperage or voltage. This unit is best suited to modern vehicles because modern vehicles are starting to go towards low output alternators. So for the Hilux example, it will only kick out a maximum of 13.7 volts or so. That is not effective enough to charge what effectively is a large battery bank. It will charge a starter battery, your, your original starter battery, quite effectively. But if you add, start adding more and more demand onto the electronics, onto bigger batteries, your, your alternator simply can't keep up and then charge your uh, batteries effectively. Which will mean either your batteries will die prematurely or simply, they're not going to be given as much performance because they're not receiving the amount, correct amount of charges as they're meant to be having. 
Well, we've just I've just finished bolting in the batch tray. Uh, there it is. We've had to drill our own holes in the fender, or whatever you want to call it, wheel arch. Uh, so, if you do something like that, make sure you actually paint the holes that you've drilled because they're bare metal. So just put a little bit of hammer right on the on the uh, holes, and then all the bolts are go through the wheel arch and in there with nylock nuts so they don't vibrate off and then just tighten them up one other thing I'm going to put in there before putting the battery in this little piece of rubber here just so the battery has something to tighten down on also keeps any mud or water or anything from spraying up on into the battery tray and letting water settle so yeah that's the battery train. <laughs>